Hi everyone, it's Four Corners, and welcome to a review on episodes 7 and 8 of Ninjago Crystallized. As usual, we go over plot, pros, cons, and then finally a rating out of 4. So the basic outline of these episodes is the ninja have made it to jail, specifically Cryptarium Prison, because of their illegal activities involving Asphira and her scepter. And in there, there's a bunch of antics involving Ronin and Pythor. Meanwhile, the Crystal King is at the top of his game because he's getting his whole evil group together involving the Skull Sorcerer. And on the other side, Nia is dealing with her guilt because she kind of feels like it's her fault that the ninja are in there. And she's starting to kind of find herself as she doesn't have her powers anymore. So she has to find something else to do with her life. So pros with these episodes is the location of Cryptarium Prison in general is very interesting to see. It's a lot more elaborate than seen in previous Ninjago seasons. They try to show us a different part of the prison every time they have a chance to, whether it be Dareth maybe getting his bags checked in the security area or all of them meeting in this whole cafeteria area. They try to get this place as versatile as possible and it really aids the action. So the ninja could be jumping over bridges at one point or they could be jumping downstairs. It really adds to the whole prison vibe. Also, there's this little moment where the police guard walking Lloyd thanks him for saving the city so many times. And while the scene doesn't seem like it's doing much, it kind of makes me see these police guards as actual people with real feelings, unlike that one guy from the Explorers Club. I actually kind of care about their opinions, and while it's not at the top of my mind when Lloyd's trying to break out of Cryptarium Prison to find who that guy in the Kabuki mask is, it's still unconsciously there at the back of my mind that I don't want these guards to really hate Lloyd. That's probably what Lloyd is thinking as well. He doesn't want these guys to hate him, but at the same time, he has to do his ninja stuff. The comedy in this episode also hits pretty different. There were certain moments where I actually laughed, like Zane screaming and all. That was hilarious to see. And the comedy, while there's a lot of it in these episodes, it never comes at the expense of making the situation of the ninja being in Cryptarium Prison look any lighter than it actually is. The comedy and the actual situation mesh very well together. Even characters like Dareth who made for a lot of laughs in these episodes, their jokes were made in such a way where we still see them as people that we could relate to and we still respect Dareth as a person, it's just that he's not the most capable for that job. So the comedy never made him really look like a fool, which was really good. Also, I like how they kept around Skylar. It really gives more value to the previous episodes because now it doesn't look like they just brought in Skylar for plot convenience to just keep Nia going until the ninja can do all the cool mission stuff. They actually kept Skylar around, which is good instead of completely dismissing her and forgetting about her until they need her for another Ninjago season. And my final pro is I'm really happy that the Crystal King plot is starting to become more and more dominant in this season. The first few episodes were great without the whole Crystal King stuff, but now it feels very natural and smoothed into the actual season. Now for cons, I was going to say the whole Skull Sorcerer thing. I wish the Skull Sorcerer got as much as episode and screen time as Asphira did because she got a lot of time in development. But then I realized the Skull Sorcerer never had that much character going on for him even in his own season. He just wanted money by slaving the geckos in the months. So I don't think that was really necessary anyway. And Pythor, he got the time he needed. But I will say that while I did like the comedy for the most part in these episodes, there were some jokes like the whole Mayor Tough Butt thing that I couldn't care for. I mean, those jokes just existed and flew by. I could have done without them. I'm gonna give these episodes a 3.5 out of 4. They're not the best episodes compared to the last few, but there is nothing wrong with them and they're really enjoyable to watch. Thank you for watching a review on episode 7 and 8 of Ninjago Crystallized. Make sure you subscribe for the rest of them. We got 4 more to go. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye